Hi survivors! In the previous tutorial, you've already learned how to select a suitable location to build a secure base and upgrade it. However, merely collecting materials and tools from the wilderness won't be enough to sustain you in the face of enemies during the apocalypse. Heading to the radiation zone and efficiently opening guard rooms to gather abundant high quality resources will be a crucial step in gaining an advantage in a battle. This episode will show you how to explore card rooms within corruption areas efficiently. And while you're here, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on. Are you ready to go? Let's get started. In most cases, anti-corruption gear, corrupted chips and resistance wires are necessary. Since card rooms are scattered in radiation zones, anti-corruption gear is needed to provide a certain level of protection during your exploration. In the blue level 1 corrupted zone, an anti-corruption mask will allow you to resist the effects of radiation. As for the purple level 2 corrupted zone, you will need an anti-corruption face guard. An anti-corruption mask can be quickly obtained on your first day of battle via crafting, completing tutorial missions, looting garages, gas stations and supermarkets. The anti-corruption face guard has a chance to appear in toolboxes within corrupted zones. Their specific locations will be detailed in the maps guide in the upcoming tutorial episode. In addition, corruption chips serve as the keys to unlocking the card room doors. There are three types of corrupted chips, green, blue and purple. Chips represented by different colors have varying levels of durability and correspond to card rooms of different colors. Let's start with the easiest to obtain, green corruption chips, which looks like a green card. These green cards can be refreshed and distributed in some small strongholds, including supermarkets, gas stations, garages, bear caves, campsites and wood cabins in the wild. You can check the presence of a green card through the minimap. It's worth noting that completing tutorial missions can directly reward you with an anti-corruption mask and a green card, which is the most secure method to start your journey of card room looting. After entering the green card room, you have a good probability of obtaining a blue card. Similarly, when you enter the blue card room by using a blue card, you can acquire the purple card there. Lastly, you must collect resistance wires to power up the generator, which is one of the requirements for unlocking the card room doors. Toolboxes, supply chests and oil barrels can all yield resistance wire. Each resistance wire allows the generator to operate for about 5 seconds. Gathering enough resistance wires enables you to collect more resources smoothly within the card rooms. Before you embark on this mission, let's share some basic information about the card rooms. The blue level 1 radiation zones will only contain green or blue card rooms, whereas the purple level 2 radiation zones can include green, blue and purple card rooms randomly. When you're near a radiation zone, you can confirm the card room locations and types in that area through the minimap in the top right corner. Green card rooms offer some basic supplies, which are basic medical kits, basic food chest, basic tool and supply boxes, and basic ammo boxes. Blue and purple card rooms provide intermediate and advanced tools, furniture, gear, medical supplies and other items respectively.
it's worth mentioning that intermediate and advanced food boxes contain cooked food that you can directly consume to restore your stamina. All preparations are in place and it's time to take action. Firstly, before setting out, I recommend carrying only essential items to ensure you have enough backpack space to store loot. For example, some basic ammo are essential to fight against monsters and other players. Additionally, exploring card rooms often involves intense battles, so carrying fewer supplies might reduce losses upon your death. Next, approach the vicinity of the card room and observe if any enemies are lurking nearby. Then, approach the card room door, install an appropriate amount of resistance wires on the generator. Please be aware that the generator's operating time is limited. Once the generator stops working, the door can't be opened from inside the room, potentially leaving you trapped. In the generator interface, you can see how much time the current amount of resistance wires will allow the generator to function. After the generator works, you can open the card room door with the corresponding color of corruption chips. Due to presence of level 3 radiation near the card room, which can't be resisted by anti-corruption gear, it's crucial to swiftly gather the supplies you need. Now you should have enough materials and weapons and are ready to showcase your skills, right? You will make it, as long as nobody removes your resistance wires. It's a trap! We hope you learned on how to explore card rooms efficiently and safely. Our next episode will focus on detailed content related to strongholds and card rooms in the Civilization Continent Map Guide. If you think this video is useful, please remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel to stay updated. And like last time, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. See you next time, survivors!